All right, guys, just finished watching the game with Liam on the way back. Really happy with that result. Like, when we went 2-1 down, I thought it was game over, but carried on fighting until the end and got the job done. To be honest, I don't know what we'd do without Dwight Gale. He's been such a massive part of our season. 24 goals now for him. He's more than likely going to get top goal scorer and I'd just sign him at the end of the season because he's been incredible. Um, hopefully we can get something sorted with Rondon. Uh, but yeah, like I say, first half, I don't think we were really at our best. And the second half kind of reminded me against Blues, would you agree? Yeah. And, you know, we, we got the job done and really happy. Going to get into the player ratings. I'm going to do one and then Liam's going to do one. So we'll start off with Sam Johnston. And I'm going to give Johnston a five. I thought he was poor today. That second goal, he should be saving that, in my opinion. He, he just kicks the ball out way too far sometimes it goes straight over the player's head he's nothing like he was when he was at Villa and you know he's tossed us a lot of points this season and I hate to say that because he is a good keeper uh, Liam Dawson you know what I didn't really see much of Dawson today um, I'd probably say about the defence weren't the best today so I'd probably say about five for uh, uh, Bartley you know what I think he played okay uh, made some crucial interceptions. There was one tackle. I think it was at two-one or two-two, uh, yeah. and he, uh, you know, he slid across after making his mistake. Won a lot of balls in the air, I thought as well. So I'm gonna give him a seven. I agree. Yeah. Hagazi. Um, closer. <laughs> like he went off injured again. I feel for him because he's a good player and we miss him. But um, hopefully we can try and get him, you know, some proper like, you know help for it this summer if we keep him because obviously he's injury prone and you know we want to get him better full fitness and back on the first team regularly and never get not get injured um, right. probably give him about a five because he it wasn't on, on too long was he all right then so i'm gonna go with uh holgate thought it was okay today didn't really look amazing though uh was giving the ball away quite a lot Put in some good balls, I'm going to give him a six. Harper. Um, I, think, I don't think he played too bad, actually. Um, you know, it's pretty decent. Probably say about a six. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. Chris Brunt, I'm going to give him an eight. I thought he was brilliant today. He was absolutely everywhere. Uh, covers every blade of grass. His passing range is exceptional as well. And like, you know, I've slagged him off at the, in, at the start of the season, but he's proven himself yet again to me. Eight for me. Johansson. Um, I don't think he had a bad game. I think he was all right today. From say about uh, seven. Yeah, he, he played okay to be honest. Kieran Gibbs. He's just he's just amazing. Like that goal, such a good finish for a left back. He has to be easily the best left back in the championship. And I'm not just saying that because he plays for West Brom. He's brilliant. I'm gonna give uh, him an eight as well. And I also think we'll uh, do really well to keep him in the summer. So I really think he could do a job at a, a lower championship side. Uh, but hopefully we can keep him, like I said. Uh, Robson Carnu. Um, I did like him. I think he was, I think he was pretty good today. Um, I thought he was poor, actually. I, in, I thought he gave the ball away quite a lot. In some moments, he did do quite decent. But like, I'd probably say about a six for him. Yeah. I didn't think he was too bad. Dwight Gale. 10 out of 10 for me, again. Saves us yet again. Scores the goals, what we asked him to do. I thought he was brilliant. Would you agree, man of the match? 100%. He's pretty much man of the match every time he plays. Uh, other than Jay Rod, obviously, I, I like both of them. I think they're brilliant partnership. 10, definitely. Right, Liam, Matt Phillips. Um, I think it was good when he come on um, for Harper. You could tell he was on the pitch. Um, I think we scored pretty much as soon as he come on. Yeah, right. yeah, he did. Um, yeah. His presence is just really dominant in the team, and you know when he's not playing, we do miss him. And he played today, so definitely probably give him a better seven because his influence in the game was. I brilliant. agree with that. I thought he added a lot more pace going forward when he came on. Definitely, um, Adora Boyoyo. I'm going to give him a seven. You know, I thought he did okay when he came on. I've criticised him a lot. He's like Bambi on ice at times, like. I don't know, he's never going to get in the City side. He just The only way he's going to wear a City shirt is if he supports them because he's just not good enough. But 
I just I, I thought he had a good game when he came on to be fair. So seven. Murphy. Um I think Murphy's shocking I do. Yeah, I do. he's too lightweight and yeah. there was a time where he could have hit the ball across the floor and he just hoofed it over the bar. It was just I didn't really see too much of Murphy when he came on. Like, um, I, mean, I don't want to criticise him. Like, I mean, he didn't play too much, but I'd probably say about five. Yeah, I agree with that. The fans, I'm going to give the fans a seven. I just think that the atmosphere is poor, and that's not me hating on the fans because I thought when we equalised we were good, but the Brummy Road's like a flipping morgue, and you know I'm a realist. Our atmosphere is shocking, but seven. Jimmy Shan. Um, I'm gonna have to give him about a seven and a half because, and the reason why I'm saying this is because when he brought Phillips on, yeah, Phillips, Phillips just for that is like just for that one sub alone. It just, right. I think it gives him a, a bigger boost because Phillips made the difference when he came on. So I'll give him a seven. I th I'd, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably give him an eight. The reason I say that is because I thought the subs what came on played really well. I was saying before he brought the subs on that he should make those particular subs. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but for what he did, I thought I thought the subs were quite good. But you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.